Season two is finally here. I was not necessarily expecting to see you. When you saw that Elsie was back in the scripts, or got the call. I knew the whole time. Okay. So, but I'm very excited to be back and thrilled to be able to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, secretive this set. Yes, very secretive. When you guys got that first script, what was your reaction to where season two picks up? You go. Okay. <laughs> I was surprised. And I, I was surprised when I saw the first script, and then the second script, and then the third one, and then the fourth one, and then the finale. It escalates quickly. Yes, it was, it's very, very surprising. That's what I hear about this season. Very exciting, and it's totally surprising. Where do we pick up with each of your characters? I can't tell you that. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> that, well, I can say about Hector is that when we last saw him on the finale of uh, season one, he was willing to face this army to give Maeve a chance to fight, to escape. Um, now, yes, he's back. We just don't know uh, what condition he's in. Similar. That's Elsie, all I can say. Elsie's somewhere in the park. We're not sure what condition she's in. <laughs> that, that seems safe That's to That's what assume. we have in common. Our characters have that yeah. in common. Condition. Not sure what condition we are both in. Yeah. All right, what was your one big question left over from season one, and did you get your answer in season two? I wanted to know more about Delos. I wanted to know yeah. more about yeah. what their end game was and, and what was, you know, essentially what What's Elsie behind. was trying to figure yeah. it out. And I think, yeah, you, you get the answer. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. Yeah. Season two explores um, more uh, Dallas, you know, the corporation behind, and, and it's Genesis. So I think you have those answers. Okay. Elsie and Bernard. Mm -hmm. When we left off, Bernard kind of thought he maybe had killed Elsie. Yeah. He did some choking. Will we see Elsie and Bernard interact this season? I mean, I know that if I were Elsie, I would certainly want a little retribution, but I, I don't know. I don't know if she gets it. And then Hector and Maeve. Will we see, what will we see between them this season? Mm. <laughs> you guys are well trained. <laughs> well, well, you know, I, uh, it, that's the fun of it. You, you, you watch it, you see, but I would definitely say that they will reconnect and develop that connection that was established in, in season one. Um, that's all I can say. See, we can't ruin it for you. No, yeah. well, that's part of the fun of this show. Yeah, is you it's would the be one so show. Mad. It's the one show on TV where we can count on watching week to week to actually find out. If I gave yeah. you the answers, you'd hate me. Yeah. If you had to sum up the season with just one word, what would that word be? Mind bending. Revolution. All right. Can we combine those? A mind bending revolution? Sure. Yeah, All that right. actually works perfectly. Okay. What surprised you most about this season, to wrap things up? I think what's really interesting about this show is that, especially this season, we're watching humans lose all the power and have to struggle with what that means for them, and we're watching the hosts gain autonomy and, and get to decide who they are. And I think watching the dance of like how that story plays out is so... It's mind-bending and fascinating and so exciting to yeah, watch. Yeah, the host begin a, a journey of, uh, you know, self-discovery and, and sort of like an existential crisis, if you will, uh, where they are searching for their own identities and now they're free from the narratives that were created for them. So it's, it will be interesting to watch what, now that they have their freedom, what will they do with it? It's just a very casual show about the birth of a new species. <laughs> we will leave it at that. No, I can't go anywhere from there. Cool. Thanks, guys.